Yeah, so sure. If you can put that on my calendar for tomorrow, um, that's totally fine. And if you need to book more people for the group coaching calls, just make sure it's either on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Um, and I can get that taken care of tomorrow as well. So a lot of you have been asking how I plan out my days, how I you know, get everything done that I need to get done as a small business owner. And I know this is a big problem that like a lot of small business owners have. So let's chat today about how I plan my day and how you can take a couple of tips away and make your day planning even better. Welcome back to Jessica TV. <laughs> I really do wish there was like a channel or like a station that was like Jessica all the time, all day, every day. I could just sit and talk about all the things. I would love that. But since there's not, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super pumped that you are here. If you are looking for how to plan your day, how to get more done throughout your week and not feel like you're constantly in a rat race with the calendar and the hours on the clock, you are in the right place. So as you know, I recently released a digital planner, which I'm super pumped about. I'm also even more pumped that so many of you have already grabbed it. So if you wanna know more about that, I've linked the video about it below and the actual planner, but it's definitely started being incorporated into how I plan my day as well, but it hasn't always been there, so you don't have to like have that to plan your day, but. I like to have it. Before we talk about actually sitting down and planning my day and your day, I wanna give you three things that you need to remember when it comes to planning out your days, planning out your weeks, etc., that will help you tremendously and keep you from losing your mind or feeling like you got nothing done. There's nothing worse than like getting through the end of the day where you know you had, I don't know, five, six, seven hours to work and you're like, what did I get done today? Like, I just don't feel like I got anything done. There's nothing worse than that. So these things will help you not do that. So first and foremost, I want you to batch your time your, and your days to keep you from context switching. So what I mean by this is, let's say you work Monday through Friday or Monday through Wednesday, or you work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't care when you work, <laughs> but let's say you work Monday through Friday and you're on the same schedule as me, you kind of work from about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. to um, 4, and that's kind of your work schedule. If you are constantly like, well, on Monday I have, I have a podcast recording in the morning and then I have another call with a client two hours later and then I need to get this video filmed and I need to um, you work on my taxes and then I also have another call at night. It's, that's a lot of context switching. It's a lot of your brain having to switch back and forth between tasks and studies have proven that like that doesn't work well. Like it's not something that like works well for anybody um, because it takes us a while to get our brain focused on the task we're doing. So if we can lump like things together and kind of do them on the same day, it's like golden. So the way that I do this is on, I work Monday through Friday, Tuesdays and Thursdays are the only, the only, literally the only days that I have phone calls, the only days. If someone wants to book me for a podcast and there's not a Tuesday or a Thursday available, we will go back to them and say, hey, Jessica only does calls and podcast recordings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do you have any available? If they don't, um, then I might make an exception and you know record on another day. If, if not, then I, I mean, I just feel like it wasn't meant to be because I'm very strict with that. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are the only days I'm like on the phone. And that really helps me because I'm not trying to get 10 other things done that day. The only thing on my to-do list on those days is to get on the phone at this time and this time and this time and this time and this time. And it can be a little exhausting because sometimes I'm on the phone like, I have a nine to nine thirty, I have a nine thirty to ten, I have a ten to ten thirty, I have, you know, I can be back to back, but it saves me so much sanity because then on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I can get all of those other things done that don't involve me having to put on makeup, get on the computer, you know, like whatever that looks like. So a lot of so I really want to encourage you to batch your time and so that you're not context switching. Okay, so the second thing I want you to think about is, is there something that you have to do 
on the regular that doesn't have to be done every week because if so then you need to be looking ahead for each week and wondering if that needs to be done and blocking off the time for it so i don't really know the best way to like call this something like it's not like there's not like a cool word like batching but evaluating your week in a way where you know that there's this thing you have to do that has to happen every other week or every couple of weeks or whatever and you need to schedule it on the days where it makes sense so for me for instance video filming i don't do this every week i don't film videos every single week i film them once a month usually um, and then i'm covered for a couple months after that so sometimes i film them once every two months even but Either way, it's not something that happens every week. So for me, a week where I have to film videos is gonna look drastically different than a week where I don't have to. I'm gonna have a whole, whole extra day open rather than the week where I have to film videos. So today, this is happening on a Friday. So I looked at my schedule on Sunday and I said, you know what? I need to sit down and I need to film at least like five or six videos to, to keep up with my batching schedule um, based on kind of what I've got going on right now. And let me look at my calendar. I know Tuesdays and Thursdays are off the table. I'm not getting anything done on those days. Like they are not, that's not happening. So do, am I gonna do it Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? And thankfully I scheduled it ahead of time for Friday because my kids were like in and out of school on Monday and Wednesday. Um, because it's snowing and like cold and whatever. But the reason I did it for Friday was because I knew I was getting my hair done on Thursday. So I was like, well, I'll do videos on Friday. So I looked ahead and thought, okay, I need, I need a big chunk of time to get this thing done. Maybe you're filming a course. Maybe you are, you know, doing something where you need like a big chunk of time. You're filming like four or five episodes of a podcast or writing a bunch of blog posts and you need a big chunk of time, look ahead and plop that in one of your days where you're, you have some like free time, right? The third thing is to look ahead at the week and see what little tasks need to be done and see if you can group them together in like formats. So if I know I need to write a bunch of emails for a sales sequence that I'm gonna set up. And I also need to schedule out some podcast recordings for later or something like that. Like I might schedule those on the same day because it's they're not that different. I'm still doing work on the computer. Once I get done writing, I could schedule those podcast recordings, whatever. If I know I'm doing something like I need to have a meeting with someone in person. Now me personally, I stack those on the days when I have calls. But if you wanted to have a whole day where you knew it was okay to meet with someone in person, then that might be, you know, you you bulk that together with taking pictures or meeting your photographer to get some new pictures done or something like that. So you want to group like things together that you need to get done throughout the week. So those are kind of the three tips on how to make the most of your week but I wanna show you how I actually plan my weeks and my days out so that I get everything done I need to get done and so that I know what I need to get done on any given day or week. First and foremost, I use Google Calendar to schedule all of my calls. So if it happens at a specific time, like I know it's happening at 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. or 4 p.m. or whatever. Like if it's happening at a specific time, it has to go in my Google Calendar. Otherwise, it will not get done because I need that physical reminder in my face on my phone that says like, hey, you have a meeting in 30 minutes or I need to be able to see that I didn't overbook something or whatever. So for all timed appointments, those all go on my Google Calendar, but that is all I put on my Google Calendar. I don't put like tasks I need to get done that aren't time specific. Everything that's time specific goes on my Google Calendar. So if it's one of those Tuesdays or Thursdays, I know it's gonna be pretty full with time specific appointments. And I know that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are generally gonna look pretty open on my Google Calendar. So then the next thing that I do is my team works on a calendar board in Trello. So there's tasks that need to get done this week. There's, you know, maybe we need to do um, this thing or that thing and Jessica needs to get this to somebody and you know Stephanie needs to do that and Mary Beth needs to do this but like my team has this stuff needs to get done this week so what I do looking a week ahead is or not a week ahead but like 
into the week, like on Sundays or Monday mornings or whatever, usually not Monday mornings, it's usually before Monday, I will look at that and see all the things that I need to get done. Like, okay, I need to make sure that I have these sales sequence emails done or I need to make sure this, and I will plot that out for each day that it needs to be done on. And I, again, do that in Trello. So I will move the task from the, it needs to get done this week column to Jessica's gonna do it on Tuesday. So I move around my own like to-do list on those days in Trello, but Amy, my operations manager, will move things around that other people in the team need to do. So if it's something that needs to be done, but like my one of my VAs is doing it or my local assistant or whatever, then she's gonna move it for them and tag them in the appropriate day it needs to be done or tag them and let them kind of move it to their own day if it's not super time specific and it just needs to be done that week. So we do that in Trello and then what happens then is that I pull out my digital planner and I will write down the things that need to be done on those days in the digital planner. I do not write my time sensitive appointments down in my digital planner because for me, again, Google Calendar is like the only way I can keep up with that because there's a literal notification. <laughs> so I don't do that in the digital planner, but I take it from Trello and I copy it down. Like on Monday, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this. And in my digital planner, I do try and say like, okay, that's probably gonna take me 30 minutes that's probably gonna take me an hour. That might take me 45 minutes. I want to kind of see how long this whole chunk of stuff is gonna take me so that I can make sure that I have enough time for it in the day. So I do that in my digital planner. And then at night before every morning, so every night I sit down with my digital planner and my today planning sheet and I list out everything I need to get done that day and um, make it like check markable, right? And like check offable. And then I list out like what time I'm gonna go to the gym, um, anything that's just like worth noting that day. And so during the day, all I have to do is look at this one sheet on my digital planner. I don't have to look at Trello. I don't have to look at the whole month spread on my digital planner. I just look at this one paper that I filled out the night before. So for me, I use these three systems in conjunction with each other to make sure I'm planning out my days in the most efficient way possible for me in the way that I like to do things. Some people really like to like, you know, use the Google Calendar for everything and say like at 10 a.m. I'm gonna write these emails and at 12 p.m. I'm gonna do this thing and at 1.30 I'm gonna do that thing. But I don't like that. I feel really overwhelmed if I open my Google Calendar and it's full, like that overwhelms me just naturally. And I don't know if that comes from a day when I didn't batch like the way I worked or what that comes from, but I don't like it. So I like seeing that Monday, Wednesday, Friday on my Google Calendar is like totally open. And then I use Trello in conjunction with the digital planner to plan out those days and put like tasks together and bundle things together that make sense. And then also, you know, schedule in some like fringe time or whatever. So I'd love to know in the comments below what you do to plan out your day because we're all different. That's the beauty of this world is we're all different and we all like different things. And so you could possibly help somebody who's watching this figure out what they need to do if they didn't really love parts of what I was talking about. So comment that below. And until next time, don't forget to hit subscribe because I don't want you to miss any other content that I put out on this channel. Bye y'all.